Before proceeding to the video click the subscribe button below. Yes below. Okay, thank you very much. It's as common a sight in business districts as street lamps or parking spaces, a revolving vertical tube that signals a destination for patrons in need of a haircut or shave. It's the barber pole, and it usually materializes with a red, white, and blue striped color scheme. It would be fair to guess that the design has something to do with patriotism. The truth, however, isn't so heartwarming. The dual arts of cutting hair and shaving faces have been around for a very long time, as have the barbers who practice them. Razors dating from the Bronze Age have been found, and the barber's razor is even mentioned in the Bible. For much of their early history, barbers did much more than just take a little off the top. Early physicians thought of some surgeries as being beneath them, so the tasks of mending wounds, bloodletting, and extracting teeth fell to barbers. For their dual roles of cutting hair and cutting veins, they were called barber surgeons and later, when the College de saint Com in Paris wanted to further distinguish between academic surgeons and barber surgeons, surgeons of the short robe. The striped poles you see outside barber shops are a legacy of the barber surgeons practice of bloodletting. The typical barber surgeon's equipment for bloodletting or applying leeches consisted of a staff, for the patient to grasp, causing the veins of the arm to stand out sharply, a basin, to catch blood and hold leeches, and a number of linen bandages. Often, the bandages were tied to or twisted around the staff, which was capped with the blood bowl, so everything was together when needed. The equipment would then be placed outside both to dry washed bandages and to act as an advertisement. With the help of a stiff breeze, the bandages, clean in some spots, permanently stained in others, would twist around the pole and create an unmistakable swirling red and white pattern. Over time, bloodletting fell out of practice, and the tools of the trade disappeared from barbers' shops as they concentrated on hair. Some stubbornly continued to practice medicine. In 1745, England passed legislation to permanently separate barbers from surgeons. To maintain tradition and advertise their services with a recognizable symbol, many barbers placed wooden poles outside their shops, which they painted with stripes and topped with a ball, to resemble the staff, bandage, basin arrangement. The red represented the blood, the white the bandages, and the blue the protruding veins. The modern barber pole was born. Many of today's poles feature rotating, light-up cylinders and weather-resistant plastic and steel parts. Thank you for watching, do not forget like comments and make sure you have clicked the subscribe button.